In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how cabinets for presentation drawings can be created with the cabinet generator. Here's a room created with architectural BIM components inside Vectorworks. Let's start by placing a custom cabinet in the corner by choosing the Interior Cut Cabinet tool and snapping to the wall near the corner of the room. A generic cabinet is placed in the drawing. With the 3D Reshape tool, the cabinet's width and height can be adjusted with ease. You can snap to other objects like the ceiling or the wall opening. Double-clicking the cabinet or clicking the Settings button in the Object Info palette brings up the Settings dialog for the cabinet. Its user interface was developed with discoverability and ease of use in mind. Enabling the plinth activates an interactive control pane where all plinth options can be set. Scribes can be added to the cabinet's carcass with similar ease. Various options for each component's properties are set with just a few clicks. A large preview pane gives instant feedback of how each option will affect the model in the drawing. In the division pane, the carcass can be divided up vertically using sides and styles as well as horizontally using shelves and stretches. Front panels can be added for each new box and at each level. Interior Cut comes with a large selection of handles. As with all fittings, new custom handles can be added easily at any time. The handle's rotation can be set at any angle and its base position can be offset using a custom value. Instead of an even divide, you can enter values for each new box you want to create. In this case, we want to create a drawer. If you want to create the same box anywhere else, just copy and paste its contents. You can also click on the dividing elements and change their properties. Let's say I don't want this division to be a fixed shelf, no problem. I can just change it to none. I'm just going to add a few extra shelves here. Finally, our cabinet needs some material information. This is the pre-installed set of materials which can be easily changed at any time. Note that by choosing a material preset, you're automatically assigning a Renderworks material to match the cut list info. I'm just going to complete my design with a sideboard. As a final step, I'm covering the side of my cabinet with a free 3D part. Since the cabinets consist of these custom parts internally, each standalone part can be assigned the same material schedule. Once I'm finished, a viewport with a predefined render style will create a first-class presentation perspective for my client. Check out the next video to see how fittings with CNC information can be placed and cut lists generated.